so I want us to get ready tonight to receive of God, to receive healing in His presence. And um, what is needed tonight is very simple. What is needed tonight is your faith. If you can release your faith tonight, you will be healed. Even if you are standing in for somebody else, you will still be healed. And, and so I, I want us to uh, trust God for healing tonight because the power of God is here to heal. Hallelujah. I want to share a scripture with us very briefly just to help our faith and then I'm going to be praying for you. Hallelujah. It's a popular scripture we all know. I'm sure you've, you've uh, listened to this uh, particular scripture over and over again. But the word of God is new every day. In Mark chapter 5 and verse 25, I'll read from Mark chapter 5, verse 25. If, um, if you can um, open your Bible and just follow, that would be good. It says, And there was a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. So we see right away that this woman has been afflicted not just for a year, not just for two years, not just for three years, not just for four years or five years. It, it's, it's a terrible condition. The message translation says she had suffered a condition of hemorrhage for 12 years. Hemorrhage for 12 years. In the Passion translation, it says she had suffered horribly from continual bleeding for 12 years all right so this is not a good place for her to be it's almost a hopeless situation because in verse 26 the bible says and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing bettered but rather grew worse. All right? So this woman is making efforts. She made efforts, a lot of efforts. When the Bible says she has suffered many things of many physicians, what it means is that she has been to several hospitals to see different kind of doctors. They, diag they diagnosed uh, different things performed several surgeries on her to a point in which she had spent all her savings. So at this time, she was not only ill and suffering, she was also impoverished because she has exhausted her finances. Her purse is dry because of the affliction she had. The Passion Translation says she had endured a great deal under the care of various doctors. Yet, in spite of spending all she had on their treatments, she was not getting better but worse. So it was a bad situation for her. She spent her money and that is how the devil operates. The devil is not just interested in trying to afflict you. She the devil is interested in your purse, in your finances. And that's why the Bible says, He coming over to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And then the Bible says in verse 27, that when this woman had, had heard of Jesus, glory to God, when she had heard of Jesus, she came in the praise behind and touched his garment. She heard about Jesus and then she came in the press behind and touched his garments. You need to understand that what she did was a great act of faith because women like her who had uh, issues that has to do with 
Lord and all of that, they were ostracized. They were not allowed to come out because they are uh, branded as unclean. So she, she had to just grieve it and just face it because she believed, she believed, she believed that something will happen to her if she can just touch with uh, her hands and touch at Jesus Christ. And so in verse 28, the Bible says, For she said, If I may touch body's clothes, I shall be old. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Message translation says, She was thinking to herself, If I can put a finger on this robe, I will get well. But Amplified Version tells us the exact meaning in literal Greek, what she was actually saying. Amplified Version says she kept saying. She kept saying. People of God, that's what faith is. Whatever you are saying is what is going to happen. Even if you have an ailment in your body, you don't have to admit it and keep saying my sickness or I am sick or I'm down. No, 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 no. You declare what you want to see, not what you are saying. Oh, glory to God. You call those things which be not as though they are. You call forth healing which be not in the physical as though it has already happened in your body. So this woman kept on saying, if I only touch his garments, I shall be restored. I shall be whole if I can just touch. What kind of touch was it? It was a touch of faith. It was a touch of faith. If I can just touch Jesus with faith, if I can just touch Jesus with faith, I shall be made whole. Somebody says, oh, I wish I can see Jesus Christ physically so that I can also touch him. Well, we understand from scriptures that Jesus Christ is his word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And then the Bible says, and the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. So Jesus Christ is the word. So this word I'm sharing with you is Jesus. And so if you can touch this word with faith, if you can connect with Jesus Christ by faith, you shall be made whole. Oh, there are several people that are afraid for on the phone, online, and Jesus restored them instantly. You see, because there's no distance in the realm of the spirit. I want you to get a faith high tonight because my Jesus will touch you tonight and you're going to be healed tonight. I am so sure that Jesus Christ will touch you tonight. I'd like you to release your faith. Glory to God. Release your faith. Whether it is bodily sickness or emotional sickness, whatever it is, get ready tonight. It could be a form of addiction. Oh, there was a brother many years ago when I was a student in a campus. There was a brother that came to see me in my room. And this brother shared how he used to be an interpreter in the church. And then he proposed to a lady in his church and the lady refused his proposal. And because of that, he backslid backslid so much to the point that he began to smoke and drink. By the time he was in school together with me in Olabiso and Obanja University, I'm talking of the early 90s, around 92, 93, he was addicted to India hemp. His lips black, charcoal black from smoking. And he looked at me and began to talk. And as he began to talk, the compassion of God came all over me. And I asked him, I said, do you want Jesus to set you free? 
He says he doesn't mind. Lay hands on him and prayed with him. He fell under the anointing and began to sing at tongues. Oh, Lord Jesus. In a moment, the Spirit of God was all over him. Healing came to him and God restored him. That is the kind of God we serve. He says, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health. God wants you healed than you want yourself healed. Let me say that again. God wants you healed, totally healthy, than you want yourself healthy. God is in a hurry to heal. Oh, glory to God. He's in a hurry to heal you tonight. Nando Shakaba Asoka Grinanti La Parishta. God began to speak to me. He said, I want you to get back online and begin to pray for my people. I want to heal my people. And so I didn't just come here to set up an online meeting. No, 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 no. God wants to heal you. I want you to release your faith tonight. In verse 29, the Bible says straight away, the fountain of her blood was dried up. And listen to the next statement. She felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Glory to God. Instantly, the fountain of the blood dried up. And she felt it in her body. Verse 30, immediately, Jesus, knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude throng in thee, and sayest thou who touched me? And he looked around to see, to see how that I had done this thing. Now what I want to point out there is the tangibility of the anointing of God. She felt it in her body. Jesus felt something live in. You see, the anointing of God is tangible. It is tangible. It can be felt. Oh, glory to God. The power of God, the supernatural power of God, when it collides with humanity, there will be a reaction. You will sense in your body that something happened to you. And so when I pray with you tonight, you might feel heat in your body. You might feel like cold water poured upon you. You might feel something. It, it's, it's, perfectly, it's perfectly in order because the anointing of God is tangible. And that anointing is what I want to release over your life tonight. As a student in the university, God's healing anointing visited me so strongly. And in my room, they will bring people there every day to be healed of sicknesses and diseases. And there was nobody I prayed for that wasn't healed. The anointing was so strong that they're ready to be healed tonight. They're ready to be healed tonight. God is showing me somebody that has pain in his throat. Get ready to be healed in a moment. Get ready to be healed in a moment. There's a sister with asthma. God is going to heal you. One of our assistant pastors, a pastor in Akwaibom, she was with us and we were having a vigil. And she used to be strongly asthmatic. And this particular night, she had an attack and she was coughing and coughing and she had to leave the, the auditorium and she went outside and she was coughing and coughing and her husband went to meet her there. All of a sudden, the anointing of God came upon me. I was angry in my spirit. I went to meet her. God, the anointing Lord, anointed her. Listen to me, what she has suffered for for almost 26 years, that night was the end of it. You see, because God's power will always heal. Ezantosh Kaba, Zekakrin Tokopa, and Dekadia. 
Even as I'm speaking here, I sense God's power so strong. And there's no distance in the realm of the Spirit. If you can connect tonight, you're going to be healed. If you're standing in for someone, you're going to be healed. Kana mandoshia, ezunkiname, entangadanda kakalikatura, kufrine mashtenga. I'm going to pray for you right now. And afterwards, we're going to take the communion. And you can use any food item, just any food item and water. If you don't have a drink, anything. I'm going to pray over uh, the communion. We're going to take it first and then I will pray for healing. So I want us to take the communion first. Glory to God. If you can quickly get any food item, go ahead. Go ahead and just take any food item. And we're going to take the communion right now. Handa bakalande susubrini koko parata hete lite preke tusu te brake nashta kabia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. E kaparako shani manena. I'm just waiting a little bit. I want to get the full item as a partake of the communion. And the lamba roshta fremenda kakabelashte. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. After the communion, I will pray for bodily healing. For some of you, even as you partake of the communion, God's power will come upon you. You will see yourself healed instantly. Thank you, Father. And so, Lord, I pray over our food items, our bread, and this drink, we declare that that which we hold in our hands is the body and the blood of Jesus. As we partake of the body and the blood tonight, we receive the healing anointing of God. God's power flow in the name of Jesus. Even as we partake of this communion, bringing total healing to our body. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Go ahead and partake of the body and the blood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now I want to pray for you. People, the anointing of God is here so strong. It's all around you. It's all around you there. Stretch your faith. Believe, believe. That as this prayer has been offered, the power of God will come all over you. And you will be healed. Kanamagaganda sabarlantu kilibu shiakatea. If you can put your hands on where the sickness is, kindly do so. Again, the green brush to fale barati. If you are standing in for somebody, if you can mention the name of that person, if the person is not joining, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, you spoke to me and asked me to do these meetings. I didn't send myself. You sent me. And so, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the strong man of infirmity. The strong man of infirmity responsible for every sickness, disease, ailment. Be bound in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you over the lives of every man and every woman listening right now. Lose your grip in the name of Jesus. You have no business in their bodies. These bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You have no business in these vessels. Pack your bags and leave now in the name of Jesus. 
lose your hold. Gabara shekunda sakake. Now I release the anointing of God, the healing anointing. The healing anointing. If that sickness is caused by a demonic entity, that demonic entity lives now in the name of Jesus. God's healing power flows right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Receive now. Receive now. I curse also. I curse asthma. I curse every sickness. I curse barrenness. I curse blood disease. Diseases in the brain, in the head. Rosh Kabanga this year, in the mouth. Rescapalidos, respiratory diseases. Negagabush Kulugaga, in the truth, in the intestines, in the liver, in the kidney, Kungaba, Shalabaraka, skin diseases, bone diseases, Gosht Kufri Kambedade, diseases of the back, of the limbs, in the legs, in the hands, in the eyes, partial deafness. If there's partial deafness, put your finger there on that part. You deaf and dumb spirit. Lose your grip in the name of Jesus. Blinding spirit. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Pain in the back. Pain in the legs. Any form of pain in your body. Jesus took it. It doesn't belong to you. I rebuke every pain in the name of Jesus. Kanda bashatab kakunda barakeya kina. Diseases in the nose, in the nasal passage. Negristo fremanda shta paraka. There's somebody you are having strange movement in your body. You don't even know what to call this sickness. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Lose your grip upon that person now in the name of Jesus. Devil, pack your bags. No more affliction. In the name of Jesus. Gabagaganda sabarashte kufrina nunste kalega. There's somebody here, a strange sickness came upon you that started from your dream. You had a dream, you were, you were eating, and then you woke up, and then your body began to misbehave. In the name of Jesus, every anomaly is removed from your body. Every poisonous intake will purge you of them now. In the name of Jesus. There's somebody, I can't describe what it is, but you, you require a surgery. When you go to bed tonight, Jesus himself will perform that surgery on you. You will wake up healed, totally healed. Your body restored in the name of Jesus. That person who is limping in the name of Jesus, because healing power flows into your limbs and your legs now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Check your body. Check your body. Check your system. You will see that God's power is already all over you, affecting the work of healing. Some of you are already healed. Pains have disappeared. Gone completely. Kanamandoshia. Now, quickly listen to this instruction. The first thing you need to know is that sometimes the healing may be progressive. Like that man that Jesus Christ gave a word and the Bible says he recovered from that hour. Some of you wake up to see that it is gone completely. For some of you, it is instant. And then the second thing that you need to do as you are healing is to make sure you share that testimony. When you share the testimony, you seal it up in the realm of the Spirit. How do you share your testimonies? Just send a voice note to me on WhatsApp. Tell me what God has done. On WhatsApp, just send a voice note and give all the glory to God. Then you enable us to give all the glory to God as well. You don't need to mention your names if you don't want to. Just send a voice note. And tell us what God has done. 
I'm dropping my number right away on the on the chat section, even though some of you already have it. But let me drop it again. Oh, Solomon in Astodika, the Borostodika, the Bandish, two Frenista. Three do Susubrinish to Freninda. And the letter Katakade do 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 the Parandi, Shandana Parati to Shanda Bakaka. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right, you have my number there. I'd love to hear from you what God has done. And when you have received your healing, you praise Him and then you share your testimony. Next week, Friday, will be another time that we'll meet for this. Tomorrow morning, we'll meet to pray and revive prayers. Tomorrow evening, 7 p.m., we have a meeting on WhatsApp for singles and 9 p.m. for couples. We'll be praying together. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, give all the glory to God. He healed you already. Come on, give him all the glory. Give him all the glory. Give him all the glory. Father, we thank you. Oh, Salabadidesh. Salabadidesh. Come on, give him all the glory. Come on, give him all the glory. Kana nano shata balando susuprinen kotani barate miste. Oh, we give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. Kane mo shata la baro susuprinen katea. All right. God bless you. Thanks for joining. This is where we'll be hanging it tonight. And I am sure you are rejoicing already. God bless you.